Let's look at the waste type over processing. Over processing occurs when you do a lot of work on something, but it does not add any value to the customer. If you want to find over processing waste in your organization, there are two very obvious candidates. The first one is authorizations that are basically meaningless. You want to buy a pen, but you fill in a form and you get the signature. It's meaningless authorizations. And the second one is lack of standardization. And I will give a couple of examples of each. So if you do a Gemba on the permit to work process, you will end up at some moment in either the plant manager's or the production manager's office. And they usually have like a stack of papers of permits that they need to check and, and authorize. And if you then ask them, so why do you check these? They will say, yeah, because it's, it's hot work, it's confined space or it's working at height. So I need to check those. The follow-up question in this Gemba is a deeper why, another why. But why do you check them? Do these jobs require your attention? Or from another perspective, do you add value to the safety of these jobs by doing another check? And the answer is often no. I certainly do not add value to all of these things. Sometimes it's just an easy check. Um, and of course there are complex cases that you really want to see and observe and go out there. But certainly a part of the things that they authorize is, is meaningless without value. So this is overprocessing. Overprocessing is about spending time or resources on steps in the process that do not add any value. And it's actually pretty easy to solve. You just map out your process and you, for each step in the process, you define what value is created over here. And then you decide, especially for your scarce resources, you look at how we can set it in such a way that they only spend effort on things that actually add value. The second candidate for uh, the waste type overprocessing is in the domain of standardization. And if you look at that, um, it's about the lack of reuse of information in an organization. So for example, take the lockout, takeout, tryout process. So in many plants around the world, every time they're isolating a piece of equipment, they start with an empty sheet. Operators then take out the PNIDs and other diagrams, they take their colored markers and start to make an isolation plan again and again and again. And every shift will have their kind of variations. You know, they have their, their way of working. And as we know, the best shift is always on now and the worst shift just left. Because there are in a plant many pieces of equipment and for each equipment there's like a few jobs that you can do on it. So there's a huge variation of possible plants, possible isolation plants. And therefore a lot of people think that you cannot make standards for the majorities of these cases. But that simply is not true. You need a vision, you need a plan for execution. If you want to read more about this, look at the article Standardization as a Modern Approach to Safety on our website. And keep an eye out for more of our videos on waste in safety.